All right, good morning, guys. Coming to you live from the River City Community Church in San Antonio. We're getting ready for another fun day of autocross. Yeah, I'm wearing a little jacket because it was kind of cool this morning, kind of nipply. Uh, nothing too crazy. And I know it's Texas, so going from 100 to 70, it makes it cold, all right? I know it's not exactly cold, but it's chilly for us. Anyways, today's video, uh, we have partnered with Vet Motorsports. I'm actually gonna be in charge of running Vet Motorsports for the San Antonio region and maybe the Austin region. And what we do is we take veterans and we bring them out here. Uh, we provide them with some snacks in the morning. We uh, provide them with helmets. We uh, bring a car for them to drive and we give them driving instruction. And we take them out onto the autocross course and we ride along with them and give them driving instruction. And the goal is to stop the 22 suicides a day. Now you guys know I am a veteran myself, so this is near and dear to my heart. And I wanna help those uh, that need it and just be a part of a group and do something for the community. Uh, the other part of this is uh, it does build community, right? It builds teamwork and that's what this is all about. So we all work together, as you can see. I got my uh, pop-up set up and we got some veterans coming out and we're going to be getting this thing rolling. So uh, I wasn't gonna bring my car. I thought I was pretty much done for the season, but I thought, you know what? I got one more in me, so let's go ahead and hit it. And that's what we're gonna do. So anyways, let's finish getting set up, getting teched and get out on track. All right, veteran number one, we got Tom in his 350Z. What's up guys? It's all good it out. Hey Tom, real quick, what's your channel? Uh, it's 2FI Racing. You can find me on YouTube and Instagram and even TikTok. I know it's kind of cringe, but whatever. Um, <laughs> Ice in your veins, right? Yeah, ice in my veins. <laughs> <laughs> so you've pretty much been doing what I've been doing. You've been like documenting everything you do to your 350Z to make it an autocross beast, a track beast. Yeah, absolutely, man. This is like my dedicated track toy. Um, like, you know, I don't have to worry about the drive, like daily drivability of it because, hey, it's just my toy. And uh, I gutted it out because I know that that's as far as I can go when it comes to like NASA rules and SCCA rules for time trials, which I'm trying to get into next year. But for autocross, I stay in the B Street prep and I run in street tire class, and I got a few things done to it. I haven't really touched the motor that much because it's got the HR motor and it's pretty decent for what it is, but I've been really just working on tires, suspension, differential, and of course, you can see the brakes. That's like my pride and joy right there. Yeah, they look really good. I just walked up and I was like, dude, you got better brakes than me. Yeah, four piston in the back and six piston in the front. Oh man, I got four piston in the front. <laughs> Yeah, well, this was out of out of a need. Uh, one of my track days at Harris Hill, like I was doing a 20 minute session and I came back in and all four of my brakes were like actually smoking. I was like, okay, so I need to get brakes. It's nice. Yeah, man. I'm with it. So, what do you think is going to run faster today? Me or you? Uh, I, oof, that's a tough one, man. It's been a couple of months since I've been out here, but um, I don't know. I think it's going to be close. I, I got Maybe a boat, you, bro. I know, you, I know you got a you got a little bit more work into your car than I do. Dude, so all I've done since we've last spoken is a new a fresh set of BFGs, mm -hmm. and I put well that'll uh, help a lot. That'll I mean. help a lot, right? Fresh rubber and uh, adjustable upper control arms uh, so from you can SPC. Get that angle, right? Yeah. So I maxed out the negative camera. Don't ask me how much it is because I have no idea. Uh -huh. And then I added one degree of caster. Okay. A positive caster. Okay. And it made a huge difference. So Yeah, I saw you at the the wham thing. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. did really good there. And yeah, that's you, like but that that course if you saw it was not as technical as anything we do over no, here. No, it was way more like just it was more fun than it yeah. was anything else. But still so, puts down some good times, man. Yeah, keeping with them Viper boys. Yeah. But all right, let's move on to the next one here. Z01. <laughs> Z01. The man who brings a bazooka to a knife fight. A ZL1. All right, so this is Rob Dickey. If you guys have watched my other videos, he's the VP of Vet Motorsports. He's the one that got me uh, linked up with Vet M, and he's bringing out his ZL1. And you told me earlier this is not your autocross toy. No, it's not. You got another one. Yep. Uh, so it's a track beast. So this is the track beast That's right. that you get kicked out of every track for being too loud. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what's done to it? Talk to us. So it has a lower pulley, uh, headers, full exhaust, and nice little tune. And that's it. Oh, tires, right? You just told me. Yeah, yeah. that's the, the 100 treadwear. 100 treadwear, 305s in the front. 325s in the back. 325 in the rear. Eagle F1s. So you're in the tire class today? Nah. No? Nah. What class are you in? Are you still in Cam C? So Cam C allows those tires? Probably not, but you know, you're probably gonna get me kicked out of it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, they don't watch my video, so it's totally cool. <laughs> nah, it's just, it's just out here to, just to take some, some veterans around if they're here, ride along. It's nothing serious. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. 
appreciate so i think i've been with vet m now for three going on my third year yeah good morning yeah you met me when the car was pretty much bone stock so all right now we got our third veteran his name is roy all right, our third veteran is Roy Lassane. So we actually met at McAllister's. I was in uniform getting some lunch. <laughs> and he was like, wait, what did you ask me? You asked me an army question. Yeah, I did ask and then I was like, hey, is that your BRZ outside? Yeah. And I was like, hey, bro, we do this thing called Vet M. You should come out and try it. He came out and actually filmed for me one day uh, that I was driving. And he didn't drive. And he's fine. We finally got him out here. He's on a couple upgrades. Uh, Tell me what you got for your car. So what I've done for this uh, FRS was Borla headers, NVIDIA, uh, over pipe, front pipe, exhaust. Uh, what else is there? Bit, uh, Crawford billet power block. Uh, TRD, cold air intake, had to switch it out for the old one. Mishimoto, oil cooler, and performance radiator. And I have a uh, Raris air brake duct kick to keep the uh, brakes cool or at high temperatures while I'm driving. And that's probably about it for right now. Oh. And white line. I have all white line, uh, okay. lowering springs and front and sway bars and a strut bar. Okay, so out of all of these, probably most modified, next to most modified, <laughs> and then the 350Z, and then Rob's pretty much stock Z01. <laughs> so all right, man, you should do good out there. This isn't your first time autocrossing, is it? No. Uh, Kinda. All right, man, you got it. It'll be yeah. cool. So excited to see how this thing does, or to see how he does out there. He's big into drifting. I know he did a little bit of sliding before. He's got every GoPro, <laughs> like in the catalog. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, bro. All right, let me uh, let me get my car ready and get it teched. All right, man. Thanks, brother. No problem, bro.
right guys, we're back home. It was a hot day, it was a long day, but overall a total success. So we finished all our five runs, car, I mean, guys, the Challenger is an absolute workhorse. I mean, I said I was gonna change all the fluids and stuff beforehand before I did another event, and I took it back out and she didn't skip a beat, but that is probably more than likely the last event before we go ahead and tackle all the fluid changes because it needs new fluids, needs new brakes, the whole nine yards, you know how it goes. So one of the next goals we want to do is get this seat up and forward so Ashley can see over the dash because she is super eager to drive the car, but she can't see, let alone reach the pedals. So we're gonna have to adjust the seat. Not really to worry about the passenger because I did just fine. Uh, prefer to be able to drive the car, we gotta do that. And she wants to drive the Challenger on track on autocross. So we're gonna get it set up for that. All right guys, one thing I wanna talk about is, you know, that first run I did. Uh, when we left Wham, the track was so clean. I could literally floor this car from a launch and there was no spinning. Uh, it was totally gripped up. Uh, so I kind of had that energy still going into this autocross event and I was a little overzealous in that first uh, first lap and uh, I completely lost the back end of the car <laughs> and I was like, okay, great. But it didn't become a DNF because I was able to straighten it back out and uh, finish that run. And funny, uh, that run was a 55 and uh, the next cam car got a 56 right behind me. So with almost spinning out, I got a 55, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, there was a couple of other portions of the track during the day where I just kind of overcooked it a little bit. And uh, I think I hit two cones today, uh, which is not too bad, but it was 10 times slip, you know, slippery than it was at the Texas Motor Speedway. Uh, I need to get my ass out to like Beeville or one of these solo national events where it's like straight up concrete and the cars grip up even better. So overall, really happy, nothing broke. We all had fun, successful day.